Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. When I'm literally sitting on a sidewalk waiting for my love to come with her boys, I have to be thinking about, can I do this again? Can I be a dad again? Can I risk being a grandfather again? And I think the answer is yes. The hard part for people who have sons who are going to be remarried or reconnected or re-betrothed or whatever you want to call it, repartnered, relivens, what have you, is how do you bring your children into the mix? How do you make sure that person is right for your children and not someone who's going to, well, nix every good part of them? I see enough motherfucking women in the community, and I won't want to claim their color, but so far that's all I see in terms of objectivity and data that do not know how to parent their children. They literally debase and dehumanize their children, especially young boys. And it's what brings out the monster in kids. You see, if you have a monstrous mom, and she is totally matronly and totally abusive to her son, he's not going to turn out okay. He's going to run to the first thing that he can get a hold of to get his love. What he needs most is his mom's love. What he needs most is the guidance of how to behave when you go to a store, and what to do and what not to do to make your mom upset with you. So in order to be a good stepson, what should we be teaching our sons about being good stepson? I guess my stepson was a pretty good, great stepson. We definitely went through hell and back with him, but I made a lot of mistakes when I was younger with him, and that's my fault. But what I know is that he eventually figured that out, and we eventually got it together, and we eventually had a good relationship, thank God. But when it comes to a new fellow coming into a household, it's sort of important that people get to explore each other really simply, just beginning with friendship, if you have to, or camaraderie, if you have to, or just the idea of everybody hands on deck, we got a lot to do here in this family. And sometimes that's just the easiest way to do things. Not making it so serious, not making it so intense, but also recognizing that your mom has a love interest and you're going to have to figure out how to deal with that. He will not be your father, and that man will never try to replace it if he's a good man. There are some that do the replacement. I did the replacement of my uh, son's father, and I think I did a pretty marvelous job, to the best of my ability at that time. But everybody matures and everybody grows, and I do miss my son. But in this lifetime, we have to figure out how do I be a good stepson, and the, other, the answer to the question is don't be a motherfucker.